The students at CU Boulder will spring break this week. But some skip the beaches and the mountains to stay in the lab. Denver 7's Kyle Horan shows us the group working on the technology that could change businesses around the world. In the depths of the CU Boulder Engineering Building, it's not the waves of the ocean or the peaks of the mountains that have these students motivated. We have shoulder, elbow, wrist joints, and we want to set the positions to certain numbers and, and degrees. It's just the wave of an arm, a robotic arm. Yeah, so we just assigned all the, all the different position values for every part of the arm, and then we created a little function that, that says wave hello once we tell you to wave hello. Juan Vargas is staying in for the week. It's an opportunity only spring break can afford. One-on-one -on -one time with Baxter, the training robot. And I'm just kind of scratching the surface and really trying to understand how they would approach it. What he's approaching is programming this robot to move objects on its own. Grad student Brian Chow is training him how. The main goal would be that to, to move the arms to pick up things autonomously. Not an elementary task. As Baxter stares intently on, the robot has to identify the object, move its joints to it, pick it up, and drop it in a container. Each move takes precision and calculation. Baxter learns simple moves with real-life potential. Hypothetically, Chow says robots like Baxter could be used in a place like in an Amazon warehouse. People uh, pick up things manually, but if uh, this could work and the robots could pick up things autonomously and will increase the efficiency. Kyle Haran, Denver 7.